Oh, there he is. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. How are you? Good. Tanya. Tanya, so nice to see you. see you. I figured this would give me a chance just to say thank you to all of you for you know, working with us to fine tune and continue to figure out how the, the Presidential Center can be most helpful to the community and to activists in the city. The goal is to create healing spaces all over the city so that these young men can see themselves differently. Sitting in that circle, what resonated most with me was the fact that I've been in their shoes as a, as a young organizer. Uh, I know how hard the work is, uh, how dedicated they have to be, and what was important was to hear directly from them how we could potentially help to strengthen their organizations so that they don't feel as isolated and they can work together collaboratively. We just got in town, <laughs> and I heard you guys were here, and I was like, let me come say hi. I was you all, you know? I grew up 74th and Euclid. This city, this community made me what I am, and I'm here, and you can be here. And if there's any way that we can help you figure out how to get there, we want to do that. Like, after this conversation right now we're having, I already feel prepared to go out and lead these communities. Right. <laughs> I swear, yeah. It's like, done. Thank you. Hey! Hi! How's it going? Hi, hey, Malia. That's almost like Malia. Uh, I enjoyed going over to the old Southside Y that we used to take the girls to, and we appreciate the Chicago Bulls and the Chicago Sky and other organizations that were providing activities and support for young people. I want to go to Big State. Yeah. Obviously, I enjoyed shooting some hoops. Being with you all and getting some energy from you all helps us continue the work that we do and shape our vision, being able to understand what you guys are going through, what you're worried about, so that as we really structure programming and think about our work here in the city, that we're doing things that address the things that are important to you all. How are you comfortable sharing your story? Being comfortable with sharing at that level comes from me being comfortable with me, and that takes a lifetime for you to get comfortable with your own story. What I want all of you to understand is that every part of your journey that you're going through, every part of who you are right now is important and has value. Today to spend time here at the University of Chicago to hear how the university and the hospital are really taking off the mission of providing support and economic development and social service outreach to communities in need, figuring out ways in which the foundation can collaborate with one of the key institutions here on the South Side. That was exciting. We came bringing gifts, didn't we? Ho, ho, ho! Be able to end with a visit here at the Children's Hospital to spend time with young kids who are going through you know, a, a tough patch and their parents who are obviously going through all the stresses you can imagine uh, and yet still seeing a spirit of joy and, and vibrancy uh, in those kids. That'll inspire you during the holiday season. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Oh, you are done. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a great trip. It's a reminder of how much talent and, and how many assets are here in Chicago and on the South Side, but also how much uh, work remains to be done. And uh, we're looking forward to partnering with all these organizations to get it done.
Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.